<coughs> all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you before we start i hope nobody will complain about the sound i do my best and look like uh, uh, you know some people here maybe think we are a radio station who plays songs uh, if you have a problem from your side, because some of you complain, some of you don't, obviously you have a cut jet, which is not good. And I cannot help you on that. Uh, uh, I was going to talk about different topic, but I found that this guy is funny and very entertaining. And in the same time, he will bring us more uh, Mohammedan from Indonesia. So today he posted a new episode, and supposedly episode number two. And episode number two uh, is titled as the following. Answering CP, that's me. Nice to meet you, CP. Episode 2. Trinity is an additional verse. Trinitas adala ayat tambahana. Okay, uh, I translate for you, those who don't Indonesian. Uh, uh, Trinity is additional verse. This is a translation for this Trinitas uh, adala uh, ayat tambahan. Okay, I hope my translation is very good. I'm very good in Indonesian, by the way. I speak many languages, uh, like Muhammad, except the Chinese, Japanese, Indonesian, French. I mean, just, just let it go. So now we will see what this guy wanna say to us. He got a bomb, but this bomb is going to explode, not in the nose of Allah, in different location. Let us see what this guy he have for us today. Yesterday he said that Jesus he died in 29 AD, which means he confirmed that the Quran is a book of lies, agreeing that Jesus he died. And we made a video almost two hours and a half, not only getting him busted, we made him fried potatoes. Today, I'm not going to fry him. He will fry himself. Listen carefully. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, you are you either taking drugs or you are taking drugs. First of all, when you talked to me before, when you gave me the first question, I mean, which is which the question I go around the bushes? You are a stupid idiot liar. I never spoke to you, you never spoke to me, and yesterday and you made a video, I made an uh, two hours and a half video for you, and I got you busted. How in the world you say, however, however. However, it turned out that the Christian prince only beating around the bush. He did not answer the main point. What was the main point, you donkey? You made a video. It is you who should answer me. I did not talk to you yet. This guy, he cleaned like he debated me. I did not answer him. And who did with you? He got, he got, you know, he got the world. Well, uh, aren't you ashamed of your age? You are in the age of my uh, uh, cousin Abdul. Huh? And yet you say a lie. What, what the bushes? When the last time you asked your question? Yesterday you posted a video and I made an, uh, two hours and a half video for you. I made you a shish kebab. And all the points you said there, I answered. You are an official liar. Let me go back what he said. I miss it. By the way, I like this, like, timing. Like, you know, it's like uh, we go back on time, brother, in the time of the Prophet. But, you know, by the way, in the time of the Prophet, why the angel squeezed Muhammad did not do this? Tick, 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 tick. No, at that time, they used to do squeezing. But this is this is how Allah, he typed. He squeezed Prophet. And after he squeezed him, the Prophet get activated. It's like the fishing thing, you know, like there's a fishing thing for the, for, uh, if you are fishing at night, you have to squeeze it, and then it's going to glow, and you throw it in the water, and the fish will come for it. Eh. After they squeeze Muhammad, Muhammad started glowing. Tell us what you want to say today. Why well, we have only 432? Last time I have 432, do you know what I did? 
Do you know what I did? I'm not going to tell you. You, you know, we are Arab, you know, we do crazy stuff. Huh? I jump in a well of Bida, full of water, have dead, dead dogs and women are bloody from period and garbage. <laughs> I decided to follow the, 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 the practice of the Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, to be clean. I could not take it no more. I decided to commit suicide. Especially in the time of Corona, jumping in the water, have dead dogs. Tell us, what, what do you want to say about this video? Tell us, Christian Prince uh, today is going to get busted. Hold on, hold on, I missed this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mr. Insan. Moka, oh, hold on. Moko Kajinata. In your opinion, how can we answer a lot of a blasphemy toward Islam? Quran and Prophet Muhammad. You must you consider speaking against Muhammad as a blasphemy. Why? He's God? Obviously, you worship Muhammad. By Christian Prince, aha! So this video is to answer the blasphemy of a Christian Prince. Let us see how that will happen. We have watched the answer of a Christian Prince in refuting our first video. So this guy who did watch it, what is the answer? All the verses I quote for you. What is your answer? Potato. Two hours and a half video of me. You are answering me in seven minute videos? And this is supposedly the one who beat around the buses? Okay, let me continue. I like to beat around the bushes always, by the way. Actually, you know what? One of my hobby is the bushes stuff. I will tell you about it later. Episode 2. Things is getting, getting hot. Is an additional verse. <coughs> Dear viewers, hmm. In the second episode, the title is Trinity is an additional force. This video, especially for Christian Prince, the blasphemer of Islam. I First of all, I never blaspheme against Islam. All what I said that your God Allah is the devil and Muhammad is a fraud. How in the world do you accuse me with false accusation? Do you have a proof? that added a blasphemy against Allah. If Allah is a fraud, how that can be blasphemy? Have you ever heard of a God? He promised me heaven with women with big boobs. Hello, me Allah boob you. So you watch my first video and now you are coming with second episode about the Trinity. What about answering me first? Who is the one? Uh, you are not beating around the bushes, you are in the bushes. You are like Allah, you know, by the way, in the Quran. Uh, Muhammad, he tried to copy the story in the Bible. So he said his God, Allah, was in the bushes. And then he said, blessed who is in the bushes and who is around it. Ah, now I know you are talking about what? You know what? I never thought you are saying that I am the blessed one around the bushes. Because in the Quran, it says this. Let's look, look at me. You have no idea. I'm very thankful for your help, my friend. I never I thought you appreciate me that much. Uh, <clears throat> mean. The Quran spoke about me. Remember, Muslims, he is the one who said, I am Christian Prince who beat around the bushes. That's me here in the verse. Read it carefully. But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard blessed are those in the fire 
and those who are around, around what? Around the bushes, because remember, this is why the bushes. Who is the one is around the bushes according to what his name? Insan, Christian prince. I never thought that this is a verse about me. Ah, but by your help, I discovered that. My the one is blessed around the bushes, who beat around the bushes. Okay, continue, my friend. Uh, give us your jewel. Today we will have a lot of fun. Actually, I decide I will make you my comedy for Corona. A lot of people are depressed, and I found I cannot find better entertainment than you. This is why I'm making the video. Actually, you're not worth it, but just for fun. Tell us more, brother. What do you want to say to us? Go ahead. We are all hearing, hearing. Uh, listening, excuse my English. I hope he will follow and don't realize his mistakes all this time. I just did. And I also hope Muslim viewer and Christian as well, hmm. not to be easily fooled by Christian prince, hmm. the blasphemy of Islam. Hmm. Christian prince, if there is a prophet, claim that he is God, he must be a counterfeit prophet. Remember, Prophet Isa or Jesus is not a counterfeit prophet. He is the real one. He is even noble in Islam. Uh, Stars, I have a question, please. I have a question. Uh, uh, when you say counterfeit prophet, what, what does that mean? Like uh, a prophet who have no miracle? Like Muhammad, they keep asking in the Quran, do you have a miracle? He says, <laughs> Allah refrain from giving miracle. Counterfeit the prophet is the one who went to seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey and nobody saw him. Counterfeit the prophet who made verses saying that Allah says to me, any woman she want to give her private part to me? Is that what make counter, uh, counterfeit prophet? You are, talk, you are following Muhammad talking about counterfeit. Your prophet is not counterfeit. He don't fit anywhere. I guarantee you that. Try to fit him. Here we go. I will give you a hand. I'm waiting for you to make Muhammad fit anywhere. Anywhere. Except in the crime field. Marrying children, raping women, kidnapping, stealing, torturing, a liar, a thief, a womanizer, who go to the son, his own son wife, and he flirt with the married wife to his own son. Counterfeit prophet, a Mohammedan talking about counterfeit prophet. Tell us more, brother. Those who are astray hmm. are the ones who consider him as God, like you. Ah, the one who is astray. Okay, hold on, hold on. According to the cult of Islam, Mr. Counterfeit, potato, the one who made us astray is Allah. Do you believe in the Quran, the brother? Or you don't believe in the Quran? Huh? This is your Quran. Chapter 13, verse number 27. Then believers say, Why not? <laughs> Why not a sign from this counterfeit prophet? You see that the believer, all they want is just a, a sign, a miracle. <laughs> Say, <laughs> Muhammad now is talking. <laughs> uh, oh, close your nose. Say, truly Allah lift to a stray, stray whom he will. But he guide to himself who turned to him impatient. Okay, hold on. All what they are asking for is a sign. What Allah says to them, he deceived the one he like, he guided the one he like. But this is not the question. The question is why you don't have a sign. 
And your God, Allah, confirm that he deceive the one he want and he guide the one he want. Chapter 16, verse number 37, it says, If you though art anxious of their guidance, Allah saying to Muhammad, you are, you are trying to guide them, man. <laughs> Yet, Allah guide not such as he leaves to astray. <laughs> the fool Muhammad trying to guide them. Allah said to him, you idiot, how you can guide them if Allah is the one who misguide them? So you stupid, you are asking me and you are saying to me why you are astray when the Quran saying that he is the one who made us astray. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? By the way, I'm not done. I can give you all endless numbers of verses. I mean, all of them are in my head. To be honest, not in my head. The, that's it. I took them from my head. Because I heard the sheikh. He said, you cannot take the Quran with you to the bathroom. Haram. It's haram, brother. And I have to go with my head to the bathroom. Chapter 16, verse number 93. Look at this. If Allah so willed, he could make you all one people, which means one belief. But he leaves strain whom he pleases. And he guides whom he pleases. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's, that's deep. That's deep. So Allah is the devil. Is that a good cop, bad cop movie? So who is the one who misguide people? And by the way, the translation is false. It doesn't say lead a strain. It says in Arabic, yodel, which means he deceive. So it is Allah who deceive as he please, and it is Allah who guide as he please. No, my Skype is not open. We want to answer this guy now. Why are you going to call me in Skype? So this guy is asking me to, what what he say? Are you sure? Muslims from Indonesia, do you see your idiot who claim to be Ustaz, how much they knew nothing about Islam? Because if he's asking me why I am astray, that's mean he do not know that Allah is the one who made me astray according to his, his, his Quran. This guy is an idiot. Oh, sorry, I cannot say idiot. Last time I called Muhammad an idiot. One idiot called me and he was upset. He said, don't ever insult us and say Muhammad like us. He was very upset. And he told me that he is the leader of the idiot club in the world. They refuse to consider Muhammad idiot. So I don't think they will be happy if I call you idiot too. I don't want to have a problem with them. They are idiots are the ones who consider him as God like you. Indeed, mm -hmm. in the Bible, there is a verse about Trinity, but it is not Jesus' word. You broke my heart. You broke my right heart now. Hold on. It's not Jesus' word? Okay. It is who? In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter nine. What, 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 what? In the Gospel of Matthew? So there is a Gospel, it's called Gospel of Matthew. How come the Quran never mentioned that? Eh, let it go. Allah do not know. Number 28, verse uh -huh. number 19, uh -huh. Jesus said, you stupid idiot. You just said Jesus did not say that, and now you are saying Jesus said. 
and I'm sick of your name. You just made a presentation, five minute presentation to say to us that this is additional verse. And then you say, Jesus said, what the heck would you mean? You just said it's not Jesus' words. And now you are saying, in chapter Matthew 28, Jesus said. I'm getting dizzy with you, honestly. But you are so smart, I am not. What I can do, go ahead. What Jesus said, tell me, tell me, please. Go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples. Uh -huh. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Have you any idea, mm -hmm. oh, Christian prince, mm -hmm. that the first have been discussed in the seminar of Jesus in USA? Stop! Stop! In USA? Guys, when, you, when there was Muslim, they say USA is like just a big deal, you know, like USA. Like, do you remember once I changed a Filipino like this guy, another idiot? He, he was asking, who want to debate me? Who want to debate me? Who want to debate me? Where is the Christian? Who want to debate me? So I said, okay, I will debate you. And then he said, I'm not going to debate you. I debated real American. Real American. You are not American. <laughs> real American. <laughs> Those people, they are funny. You know, they worship the white man. Just because American, American in USA. So what if it's USA? Brother, now suddenly you follow USA. Okay, what in USA they said? Go ahead. You know, because Islam made them white supremacist cult. So always they look at the Arab as white people. They look at the American as white people. And they always feel that they are following the white man. Islam make you ashamed of your own ethnic you idiot actually muhammad he made hadith clearly making fun of asian people saying that their face is the same as a face of a shield hit by a hammer do you want me to show you i don't like to say something without showing it excuse me Exec what? Use me. Hmm. That is your prophet is speaking about the Asian. Saying, I heard Allah Messenger saying, near the hour, look at the first prophet, near the hour, Near the hour, you will fight with people who wear hairy shoes and you go to fight with flat faces like shield. Who he is talking about? Another hadith will confirm. The Mongolian, the Asian. Read, you idiot. Read the Turk. Not the talk today, the talk today, they are became, uh, you know, they came, they, uh, actually, even your video organization has their name, Aya Sophia. They, they, they went there, they raped the Roman women, and now they have a blondie girls. But the real Turkish or Mongolian, Tatar, the children of Jankiz Khan, and they are Asian. And look what Muhammad, Muhammad is claiming that this is what happened in the judgment day. But the Turkish already are Muslims. So it is double lie. Number one, he is making fun of their faces. Of their look. Saying that they have a flat faces. As if it hit with the hammer. Stupid idiot. How you can follow such a false prophet? Racist. Continue, brother. By 76 expert from fairy... Hold on, we, are, we missed the point here. We have to go back so we can give him the right to explain himself. 
I mean, we are cutting the video, excuse me. The guy, he is, he making, we have to connect the point, brother. So we have to go back, hold on. Have you any idea? Oh, Christian Prince. That Can I answer? Sir, I don't have an idea. Please tell us. Okay, go ahead. The first have been discussed in the seminar of Jesus in USA. Seminar of Jesus? This is discussed in the seminar of Jesus? Well, the seminar of Jesus, you idiot, is a bunch of atheists like you. So what does this have to do with me? Do you know that this has been discussed in the When you hear the word seminar of Jesus, you think this is a bunch of believers that are Christians. You idiot. Just wait and see what you did to your prophet. You put a nail in the bum of your prophet. Will come, will go from his bum, will end in his nose. Listen carefully what this idiot will say. Okay. By 76 expert. 76 mechanic. 76 mechanic. Just for uh, to study a verse, brother. Okay, expert. Remember, he said they are expert from various outstanding universities from various outstanding take a note muslims it's not me who said that it's your uh, uh, dude outstanding university in the world hmm. in the world and then the result of it is what don't say the result we have to pay commercial you cannot just say the result like this hello Commercial break. Let me introduce you for you. My name is a Christian Prince and I have many books in Amazon. You can get my books in many languages. Any language you like, you will find my books in Amazon, including Spanish, Portuguese, but yet not Japanese yet. And you can purchase my books and that will make this Abdul upset and angry. The end of commercial. Now we go back to the result. What was the result, brother? Please tell us. And then the result of it is recorded. Stop! Another commercial. If you are a person who is seeking Cameroon and you do not know where to find it, please visit our website www.cameroon for you alone dot muhammad you can find how tasty how hot how fresh we get it right now from the source for you don't ask me what is a source well the name it says camel urine hello back to the program and then the result of it is stop commercial break i mean this is what they do on tv what i can do i mean why i cannot do it man isn't this what they do in TV? Each time like something will happen, they, they look for you a commercial. Why I cannot do it? You tell me. And like people like they want to see the result. Like, where is the result, man? Like, come on. You know? <laughs> okay. That was the result I'll do it. Ending universities in the world. <laughs> and then the result of it is No way. Are you serious? <laughs> Recorded in a book called the Five Gospels. Yeah. Yeah. Stop! I want to take a selfie for you with it. Please don't move. Thank you. Tell us about it, brother. Is that book, the Five Gospels? The book says uh -huh. that the Trinity. First, never said by Jesus. Oof, 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 oof. The five gospel uses colorful letters. Mm. If it is written in red, it means that's Jesus. Mm. Yeah, like this. And Hold on, which one? Which one? Like this? What this one saying? It's saying that Jesus is God. <laughs> so this is this is the one you agree with. <laughs> Read it, read it for us so we laugh at you, you idiot. Like this one. <laughs> and 
If it is written in pink, it means sure sound like Jesus. Like the pink? Mm, sound like Jesus. I mean, have you ever heard of a scholar saying, sound like Jesus, maybe Jesus. I mean, what kind of a scholar those scholars are? Tell us more. And if it is written in gray, it means, well, maybe. If, 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 so now between not Jesus, possibly Jesus, maybe Jesus, and now what? What is after that? Gray, like this. And it, if it is written in black, mm -hmm. it means Jesus didn't say this or there's been some mistake. If, 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 if. Okay, brother, do you know anything about this seminar of Jesus, the one you are talking about, or you are just a donkey? I want Muslims to follow, to listen carefully. I'm going to prove to you, with no doubt, that this idiot, he just, he just left Islam. Listen carefully. After discussing the whole content of the Bible, hmm. the 17th, the 76 export categories mm. that meet you. Chapter number 28, verse number 19, which sounds, go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as Jesus didn't say this, or this. Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, you idiot, you donkey. Just look to what you just did. But those people are saying that what Jesus said, according to them, that go and baptize in my name. And that made Jesus, for sure, God. Because it is in his name now. Uh, Adam, uh, somebody will post for you the link for the Indonesian language. You see, guys, those those Muhammadan, I feel sorry for them. Let us put the verse for this idiot. Uh, give me a second. Let us get it. Okay. I will show it to you with the translation with those people they agree with. And those, those are not Christian people, so we can take them into consideration. And look what you just did. <clears throat> look what you just did. Uh, actually, I can't. Yeah, I'm trying to find you where uh, where it says that the exact claim they have. But anyway, they claim that Jesus said, "Go and baptize them in my name, in my name," and that will make Jesus. He is the authority. And he is the only God. He is the one who sent his disciple. You are mentally ill. But I will let him finish his statement. And I will see if we can find the verses. So all of you will see how stupid this idiot. Those people, they said, 
that this verse as it is now, in many translation, is not accurate. The real verse saying, go and do baptism in my name. However, we will go with you to the end. This verse, according to them, is not there. What is next? Mistake. Mistake. How can this verse be a mistake? It's, it is because they put the first of Trinity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit into the mouth of Jesus. It's impossible Jesus said the first since he died in AD uh, 29 why he was appointed God in AD 325 or about 300 years after his death. He just confirmed again that the Quran is a book of lie because Jesus he died in AD 29 as he claimed and Jesus was dead already for more than 300 years when this is was added according to him. Be careful Muslims. He already confirmed the Quran to be lying about the death of Jesus. He confirmed Christ being crucified. Tell us more. Christian Prince, the 70, the 76 experts of theologians are from outstanding universities all over the world. Stop. Let us read. 82% of the world ascribed, ascribed to Jesus in the gospel were not actually spoken by him, according to Jesus' seminar. Okay, tell us more. They surely know more than you. Stop. They surely know more than you. So you are accepting their knowledge and this is why you are bringing us all of this. Thank you very much. In 30 seconds from now, I will announce you out of Islam. I will hit you on your nose and the pain will come from your toes. Peacefully. Finish. Because of that, I really hope you will read and learn more. I just decided to take your advice and I will start reading right away in front of you. And I hope the Muslims will not start throwing people at you from now on. You idiot, do you know even what those seminar of Jesus they believe? You don't care, you just destroy Islam. First of all, those they don't believe in God. Number two, they believe that Jesus was born in Nazareth, not in Bethlehem. Number, num, num, number, uh, uh, it's number one. Number two, his mother name is Mary, and he had a human father, you donkey. That means the Quran did lie. And his father is not Joseph. Number three, as you see here, Jesus was born in Nazareth, not in Bethlehem. Number, number four, Jesus was a person who traveled around. He shared meals with those, you know, like he's a hippie. He's a hippie. Number, number five, Jesus practiced faith healing without the use of ancient medicine or magic revealing relieving affliction we know now consider so they are talking about jesus he was practicing a method of medicine which have nothing to do with medicine but he is not doing miracle of god he did not walk in the water he did not feed the multitude with with loaves and fish he did not change the water into wine. He did not raise Lehazar from the death. So we continue with donkey, you just destroyed Islam. Jesus was arrested in Jerusalem and crucified by the Roman. He was executed in the public place for not for the claiming to be the Son of God. So look what you just did. You brought us a book confirming that we should read it to learn from it. 
And now, we Christians and Muslims, we are going to take your advice. So, let us take step by step what you just taught us. The first thing you taught us, that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah is a scam. For the Quran says that Mary, she was virgin and Mary, she never knew a man. While those who they are from the seminar of Jesus, are you worship them, they are saying, no, Mary, she was sleeping around. If we go right now to the Quran, you donkey, let me give you the title of a donkey from now on. And I will give you a certification later. Don't ask for it now. At the end of the program, please. <clears throat> Is that your Quran, you idiot? Chapter 3, verse number 47. Chapter 19, verse number 20. Saying the same, that Mary, she was a virgin. But the seminar of Jesus saying that Mary, she was not. And not only she was not a virgin, she is not even married to Joseph. And not only she is not married to Joseph, she was sleeping around. So you filthy idiot, you are supporting the ones who are saying that Mary, she was a bad woman. So now I'm going to take your advice and I'm going to believe Jesus Seminar Atheist Organization. Based on your advice, excuse my language. This is shit. This is bullshit. The Quran. Because now we have to agree with your advice. Your majesty, your genius. Muhammad is making popo. Quran, Allah is lying to us. And now we have to follow your advice. Second advice. Jesus practiced faith healing. He never healed anyone by power of God. He practiced kind of medication or let us say like yoga. Exploring relationship among social, physiology. So you stupid, you just confirm that your Quran is a joke. Uh, uh, Zahra Farah, you want to debate me? You know, we are answering the Abdul now. I mean, when we open our Skype, nobody call us. Now Zahra, she want to call me. And I don't talk to Muslim females. Last time I talked to her, I read for her the hadith about suckle me. The Muslims, they were upset. Why you want to call me? So I will say to you, suckle me, as the Prophet said. Is that what you want? Have you ever heard of a Prophet who ordered women to suckle a strange man? And now I'm not hungry. Sorry. Try a different time. So look what you said. That according to them, Jesus never did a miracle. And the healing of Jesus had nothing to do with any God or anything. It's just a practice of he was a shrink a shrink so you just confirmed that the book of Allah is a joke for the Quran says the following Chapter 3, verse number 49, and chapter 5, verse 110. It says the following, that Jesus can do the following thing. And appoint him a messenger. Those people don't believe that Jesus was a messenger, you donkey. They believe he was just a socialist, a communist. The children of Israel with the message, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, and that I make for you out of the clay. So those people saying, this is a lie, this does not exist. Jesus did not make from the clay a bird. As if it were a figure of a bird, and breathed into it, and became a bird by, the, by Allah leaves. 
and I heal those who born blind, and the leper, and I quick the dead. Did he say I quick the dead? Let us go to the seminar of Jesus, the seminar of the atheist your donkey, the one you support them. Look what they said about Jesus resurrecting Eliezer from death. They said this is not true. He never did any of those miracles, including the raise of Eliezer from the dead. And remember, those are the expert. Your donkey. Hold on, did he say they are expert? And he said I should learn from them? Yeah, he said that. Let us play it again. I like it, like music in my ears. He was bragging about them and the donkey. He did not even read the book because if you read the book, he would never even, even mention it. But he's a donkey like, like the rest of them. They are copy-paste. Somebody told him in that book, it says that this verse is additional. So this is what he wrote from the whole book. That's it. It, if it is written in black, it means Jesus didn't say this or this. It, just a question. The mark of my fingers right now, is it in a black or in a gray or in a green or a red in your bum? Please inform us in the coming video because I like to know. I change the ink of my fingers from time to time. Been some mistake. After discussing the whole content of the Bible, the seventeen, the seventy-six expert categories that meet you. Chapter number twenty-eight, first number nineteen, with sounds. Go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As Jesus didn't say this, or there's been some mistake. How can this first be a mistake? How that can be a mistake? Tell me. It's it is because they put the first of Trinity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit into the mouth of Jesus. It's Guys, just to go with this donkey, let us say, say that this verse never exists. But how many verses in the Bible speak about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Many. So if we take it, nothing will change. Why would I add it then? As an example, if we go to Luke, We will find in Luke, this is what this is actually what I was going to show you, that in chapter 24, verse number 47, it says, speaking about repent and forgiveness of sin will be preached in his name for all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. All nations, their sin will be forgiven in the name of Jesus. And this is the international version, which those people will say it's more accurate than any other one. And this is the international version too, about the same verse. It is there. However, there's many verses in the Bible confirm the Trinity. Let us see some of them. And then you will see right away how this lie collapses in a second. <clears throat> uh, and here, who is going to talk? I will not even show you Jesus talking. I will show you the Father, our Lord, our God, the Father, speaking. Mm. 
This is about the baptism of Christ. And you can read it in any translation you want. The translation you like. Even the translation which is kind of funny. The new international version. Oh, I have it. Uh, screen is off. Sorry. Forgive me. Give me a second, please. My internet is a little bit slow, but no problem. Okay, let's see. Just one second, guys. Just to show you how easy to refute such a stupid claim. You see, that, that verse will have an impact if this is the only verse speaking about the Trinity. But we have it in the Old Testament, we have a New Testament, we have tons of verses. But I will show you one which nobody can argue with it. This is Luke chapter 3, and the title is about what? John the Baptist. Prepare the way. What happened in this story? that Jesus himself get baptized. Let us read together. The baptism of Jesus. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was open. Verse number 22. And the Holy Spirit descended on him. Who is the one who descended? The Holy Spirit. That is a miracle. This is a report of a miracle. And what happened next? And a voice came from heaven. So now we have Jesus on earth. We have a spirit descendant. And we have a voice from heaven saying you are my son whom i love with you i am well and this is a translation which the muslim they like i'm using their translation by the way i'm using the translation they always they like to use so what we have here we have god the father we got we have god the spirit and we have god the son And we can read the story in many other uh, 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 gospel, uh, uh, not only in Luke, about the baptism of Jesus. So, not one verse, not two verse, not a three verse. What about the Old Testament? Is the Old Testament speak about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. We have tons of verses. Actually, if you do a little search, and I will do it in front of you, without selecting, like, I do not even know the website, I will just search in front of you, Trinity in the Old Testament. Give me a second. And you will find many, 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 I mean, depend on the website, some the list for you, 26, some the list 20 for you, 5, some the list... Uh, 30, some the list, it's up, it's, it's you know, the, up to the article. But there is many verses in the Old Testament is speaking about the Trinity. And this is a, this is a Jewish website. Jews for Jesus. Who? Jews for Jesus. Those are the Jews who know their book very well. All right? Genesis 11, sorry, Jesus, uh, Genesis 1, verse 1 and 2. We read in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, 
and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So from the first two lines in the gospel, sorry, in the in the Old Testament, we have God the Father, we have God the Spirit. So when such a fool he says that we added a verse in the New Testament, accepting people who deny that Jesus is even a prophet, he did miracles. He ac accepting that the Jesus he was not he was crucified, which means Muhammad did lie. And yet they claim that this verse, like as if we took this verse, like that said Christianity collapse. There's no father, there's no son, there's no Holy Spirit. The whole Bible is about it, you idiot. How many times Jesus says, my father? How many times he called himself son? How many times Jesus, he said, go and do? I, I, uh, how many times Jesus, he forgives sin? How many times Jesus says, I am? So if you are saying to me, and this is the message for the Muslims, you are full of donkey just because he is desperate to fight Christianity. He just fought Islam. Because the book he is quoting for you, reject all the stories in the Quran about Jesus, starting from Mary, the universal, going through all the miracle of Jesus. They believe, yes, he did healing, but it's not by God or the power of God. And they agree that Jesus was crucified, while the Quran say Jesus was not crucified. As you see, Jesus was arrested in Jerusalem and crucified by the Roman. And this idiot, he just said to us that he considered them the expert and we should learn from them. And he was hoping for me to learn and read. So I want you, all of you Muslims, to learn and read from the same book he quote for you. So you will see that this guy is asking you to leave Islam and he just conquered Muhammad, proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah is a liar for the crucifixion of Jesus was a true. Even by those who hate Jesus, the atheist, they confirm that yes, Jesus was arrested. Jesus was crucified. And guess here, I want every everybody to, to focus with me. By those who they are the enemy of Jesus, because obviously, I mean, they have no, I mean, all the all, all, all their ideas, if you actually, if you read the article here, and this is an article written not by Christians, you will see that scholars, they criticize their work because it is it is kind of a fraud. There's no proof, there's nothing, it's just an accusation, it's just a conclusion. And there is no proof of it. I you see those are really scholars saying what they are saying about them. They are not scholars. And they are saying from the 76, the only names we know is 14. Who are the those the 76 mentioned? And all or 77 sorry, 74. Of the 74 scholars between two brackets listed in their publication, the five gospel and the book name, only 14 would be leading figures, which means they are known. And just to, you know, just to let you know how you can be a scholar these days, you know, you get a PhD degree. I have a friend, he got a PhD just six months ago. 90% of his PhD is internet copy paste. And what they do, they just change the structures of the sentence so they can pass because they can search your sentence in the internet to find if you copy somebody. You cannot copy, copy, paste. But it's copy, paste. So he changed the word. And so, like here, instead of saying figures, you change the word. So those are not the scholars. And none of the Christian consider them. When you say to me, you idiot, you get a scholar. It is somebody who do things scientifically, not with assumption and giving their own interpretation. 
all they agree that they are biased, inappropriate emphasis on a flawed criteria, bias against. So how we can call them scholars? But as long you are the one who consider them scholars and you agree with them, now you cannot take it back. Jesus was crucified by the Roman. Jesus and mercy. You agree with them. Quran then did lie. Because the Quran said, Wama salabuhu wama tataluhu. They crucified him not. So from now on, you as a Muslim and all the Muslims, their guideline to understand what happened to Jesus is the book which is colored by gray and black and red. We should not listen to the Quran for there is the true story, brother. And you are the one who said that, not me. Let us play it again. Not only are saying to me, Christian Prince, he said they are the most outstanding university in the world. So those are outstanding people. Who said that? You. Listen carefully, Muslims. This donkey, he just destroyed your prophet and very thankful for him. Listen again, please. After discussing the whole content of the Bible, the 17, the 76 expert categories that meet you. Chapter number 28, verse number 19, which sounds, go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit as Jesus didn't say this oh. what Jesus said according to them that go in my name I mean that even make it more horrible for you because now Jesus he do baptism by his name claiming to be God and you stupid you are trying to prove to us the Trinity is not there this is what they are saying he said go in my name And by the way, as long as you remind me of the baptism, I don't want to miss it. How Jesus, he go and say, go baptism in my name. I thought Allah is the one who do baptism. But according to Jesus seminar atheist group, the disciple of Jesus, they did baptism by the order of Jesus. Look what the Quran said, Abdul. Who is the one who do baptism? Allah. Let us get the verse. This is why they don't dare to call me, because they are idiots. Our religion, the baptism of Allah. Mm -hmm. In Islam, you have baptism. Since when? And who can baptize better than Allah? What? People, do you see what's happening? So you are saying to us that Jesus, he ordered to baptize and he is the one who gave authority to baptize in his name. 
And by the way, I don't have the book. I just read from the internet. I mean, you are a fool. You have the book, you don't read it? You're a donkey. I was going to buy the book, actually. This is why I was saying to myself, I'm not going to make a video about it unless I get the book to see what this book is saying. And then I searched. The Quran confirmed that the one who do baptism is Allah only. But the Bible says that John the Baptist did baptism. This is why his name, his name is John the Baptist. Obviously what he do. I mean, the guy, his name is John the Baptist. His, what he do? <laughs> and now we need to ask you, how Allah he do baptism? Your prophet, he ordered you to do circumcision. So how circumcision is there and baptism is not there? Do you Muslims see anyone, Allah, he baptized him? What baptism? Baptism have to be done by water. But because the idiot Muhammad, he did not know what to do with this baptism, he learned it. So he said, they said to him, why, what is the baptism? Why don't do baptism? He said, the, who is the, the, the baptism is best baptism? Is baptism of Allah. And who can do baptize better than Allah? And exactly, like, look, Tim, Tim, he is saying here a question. Let us share on the screen what Tim, he said. You see, when we speak as a Christians about baptism, what we will receive from baptism? Muslims, what is the, exactly this baptism? What you will receive when you have baptism? What you get? Look what Tim, he said, Tim J. How come there is baptism in Islam when Allah is not a spirit? So are you going to receive a Holy Spirit by baptism? No. So what you will receive? What this baptism is about? Stupidity. Muhammad, he copied from people around him. He do not know what this means. And by the way, Muhammad, he ordered the Muhammadan to do circumcision, but he was not circumcised. How you, why Muhammad was not circumcised? Any Muslim can tell us if there is any proof that Muhammad was circumcised? Anyone? He ordered you to do circumcision, and you say to us, the Jews, they do circumcision, so why you don't? They will say to you, Allah, he did it to him. But it's there, he did not, Allah, Allah cut his... Uh... <laughs> so, those idiots, they have big mouth, stupid statement, when we as a Christians, our faith in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is not based on, based on one verse in the Bible, you idiot. And when you bring us a scholar, you have to bring us a scholar we believe in, not a scholar, he's Antichrist. When I debate with Muslims, I say to them, a Jalalain said that. Okay, I don't go and say someone is anti-Islam says that. I don't say Christian Prince says that. If you read my book, I don't say in my book Christian Prince said that. I say Sahih al-Bukhari said that. At-Tabari said that. So when you want to debate people in, about their faith, be careful in what garbage you bring with you because you just destroyed your false prophet. And now every Muslim is going to go and buy this book and they will find out that as long as you are saying this is a true book, 
teaching the truth that Muhammad is a fraud. If it is written in red, it means that's Jesus. So confirm, please. If it is a red, it means it is Jesus. So you agree with that? Anything is not a red, it's not Jesus. So now the Muslim should buy this book, and anything is red, we have to accept it. Now I challenge you to show us what is a red because people will die laughing at you. I want all the Muslims who they are listening, especially from Indonesia, to ask this idiot how he agree with the book is against the Quran and against his prophet teaching. Consider this book made by outstanding scholars. And now after we call them outstanding, we cannot say they are stupid. Remember, they are outstanding. Outstanding mean they are the best in the world, trustworthy, not stupid, not donkeys, not false, not liars. Otherwise, I will not call them outstanding. The whole content of the Bible, the 17, the 76 export categories that meet you. Chapter number 28, first number 19, which sounds, go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as Jesus didn't say this, or there's been some mistake. How can this first be a mistake? It's, it is because they put the first of Trinity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit into the mouth of Jesus. It's impossible Jesus said the first since he died in AD uh, 29, while he was appointed God in AD 325, or about 300 years after his death. Christian Prince, the 76, the 76 experts of theologians are from outstanding universities all over the world. Do you see it, Muslims? This guy, he approved them. They are outstanding people from around the world. But the donkey forgot that those people don't believe in God. Those people, they are anti-Christianity, and they are anti-Allah, and they believe all of anything about God and miracle is a fabrication, it's a lie, and this donkey is bringing us something totally against your Quran, just to prove one verse in the Bible is not true. This is how stupid this idiot is. 82% of the words ascribed to Jesus in the gospel were not actually spoken by him, according to Jesus' seminar. But according to Jesus' seminar, Jesus was a crucified. According to Jesus' seminar, Jesus was not a prophet. According to Jesus' seminar, Jesus is not the son of a virgin. So you just confirm everything against Islam. Right? How wonderful. Who is going to stay a Muslim now after what you said? Nobody. Because now we have to listen to Jesus' seminar advice and outstanding study. They surely know more than you. For sure. Way more than you. Way more. Muslim, do you see it? He confirmed what those people, they say. How many times? The whole video is just about them. Confirming that Jesus is not a prophet, 
confirming that Jesus is not born of a virgin, confirming that Jesus did not heal miracle by the power of God, Jesus was not resurrected, so he was not uh, 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 saved by Allah, he was arrested by the Roman, and he was crucified. So all the garbage of Muhammad exposed by the seminar of Jesus and the enemy of Christ. What do we want more than this? Nothing. Right? Uh, Bob a Christian, you are no Christian, my friend. Don't come here. I mean, I offend people. And why you stay here? Simply, you are a donkey. Because a person who go to a place where people be, you are saying I offend people, right? And you keep coming here. Obviously, you are a donkey. What's wrong with you? Go watch some cartoon, Mickey Mouse. When you come here, are you donkey or are you stupid or are you mentally ill? You come, you sit in my lap and you want to teach me how to talk. You open your channel, you talk as you wish. Donkey. And by the way, when I say donkey, I'm not insulting you. I'm respecting you because donkey are very polite, nice. They kick from time to time and you are doing that here. You come here and you start kicking. Why you are kicking, I do not know. So instead, you claim to be Christian, instead of helping to explain to the Muslims, you are coming here to cry, Christian Prince, don't, don't talk like this, Christian Prince. No, I talk like this. The guy is a donkey. Let me talk like Jesus. Jesus said to this guy, you are the son of the devil. Is that okay for you or no? Are you going to say Jesus was not nice now? Did Jesus call them hypocrite? Did Jesus call them antichrist? Did Jesus call them liar like your father, the father of all lies? Did Jesus say you are the son of the serpent? So now you will say Jesus is not a good person, right? I'm speaking like Jesus. Faith you liar, you are no Christian. So look what happened. They try to refute us, but they refuted Muhammad, proved Muhammad to be a false fraud prophet. As simple as that. When the Muslims they speak about additional verse, he forgot that his stupid God confirmed the gospel. So how you confirm it and yet you just say it that there is additional verse. So do you see how many mistakes this donkey is doing? If we go right now in the Quran, we will find the following. O oh, children of Israel, remember my covenant, the nice things I bestowed on you, and believe in what I reveal, confirm in revelation which is with you. Next. Chapter 2, verse number 89. And when come to them, a book from Allah, confirming what is with them, you idiot. You confirm what is with us, and you just say it. And when this happened, because according to the seminar Jesus, and according to you, you said that the addition happened, 300 years after Jesus, your donkey. But the Quran came 600 years after Jesus, yet your stupid book confirming the Bible. Do you see how easy to get them busted? Are we done? No. No. We are not.
all those verses confirming what is with them confirming what is with them what is with us the Torah and the gospel confirming what is with them as simple as that so how you say that additional a book came 600 years not a 300 years as you said because you just confirm everybody heard you 300 years after Jesus death this is what's added you said that but Muhammad 600 years after he said I confirm this book do you see it you idiot all those verses saying the same and when there come to them a messenger from Allah confirming what is was with them the fact it doesn't say what was it says what is just change the translator and you will see it says what is with them well, in a second let us see Now, here it says what was, but in Arabic it says it clearly. Lima ma'ahum to what is with them. It is you who is adding words. In Arabic it says lima ma'ahum, what is with them. In the translation, you Muslim, you say what was, what was, where it says was. Where is the word was, you liars? Liars will end in fire. Huh? Look at this. Just to change the translator, we have the full Quran, new Quran, brand new. And when they came to them, apostle from Allah, verifying that which they have. But the second ago, it was was. My sound not clear, guys. Somebody saying my sound not clear. Is it true? <clears throat> How was my voice? So do you see how those are stupid? They are just speaking against their book? Because now we have a problem. I will go with you. 300 years after Jesus, as you said in the video, this verse was added. Now, then 300 years after, which means 600 years, the Quran confirmed those verses. So who is the stupid here? Do you see how stupid those people, they are desperate to fight Christianity and their depression is like a quicksand. They are walking in the quicksand and by the power of the Lord, I demolish you and people are laughing at you. And now how many Muslims are going to clearly advise that the Quran obviously is a fraud? Because how you say in your videos one after one the Bible is corrupt and then your stupid Muhammad saying verifying that which is they have. Who? The Christian and the Jews. How Muhammad he say such a stupid thing? Oh, I forgot he's a stupid. Chapter 3, verse number 3. And when sent down to thee, in the truth, the book, confirming what went before it, it doesn't say that again. Liars. It says what is with them. Here we go. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi, you donkey liar. Shame on you, translators of Islam. To what is between his hand? Where is the where is his hand? Is gone? Is gone in translation. The sound is strong. My sound is strong. What I would do? I need to buy a new microphone. Then, I mean, you guys keep complaining. I wonder how. I wonder why you told me about. But you see how they lie? In Arabic it says, 
confirming what is between his hands. Where is the word hands here? It's gone. Disappear. No hands. Change the translator. From Yusuf Ali, you're gonna see Shakir. Hmm. There is no between his hands. Verifying which was, which is before it, which is. No hands. But it doesn't say that. It says what is between his hands. Change the translator. Different donkey. Big tad. Revealing which was revealed before it. There's no hands. It's gone. Isn't it amazing? And they, they speak about corruption. Let us change to different translator. Uh, Halali and Khan. Confirming what is before it. But it doesn't say that. It says what is between his hands. You know what? I will do this. Give me a second. I will use Google Translation. It's a blind translation, you know. I mean, it's not uh, uh, something special. And let us see what Google Translation will say. Is it going to say between his hands? Or Christian Prince is making things up? Because there's a huge difference between what was before it and between what is with their, between their hands. So look carefully. This is the same website. This is the verses in English to a translation. And now I'm going to click translate to English in the front of your eyes. There is many people they come here, they are using Christian names, but they are false. Remember that. And they are angry because we are beating the devil. So be aware of false teachers. They come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. So they use the Christian names to deceive you. They are angry from a Christian prince. The devil is angry. He is spanking Allah with no mercy. So let us do this. Translate to English, either a Christian prince is lying, and there is nowhere here it says, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ What is between his hands, or it is there. Automatic translation. Go ahead. Do you see it? Book brought the truth for you. Believe in what was in his hand. Suddenly the word hand is exist. This is the garbage translation of Google. But in reality it says, what is between his hands? Liars, no dignity, just to cover the shame because this verse is a problem. What do you mean between their hands? So the, the Bible in their hand is true. It must be true. You cannot say between their hands. Look, look, all of them, they are saying what is revealed before it. However, even by the way, by saying reveal what is revealed before, it still is confirming that the Bible and the Torah is true. But why they are not saying what is between his hands? And I will tell you why. Because that means the Bible is exist between the hand of Muhammad. Because the verse doesn't say what is between their hands. It says what is between his hands. Look, I'm changing translation one after one, and it's still saying the same garbage. Look how my translation has changed. Ahmad Ali, let us see Ahmad Ali. Confirming the books revealed before. It doesn't say that. There's no before. There's no even revealed. Let us see more duty. Confirming the earlier books, it doesn't say that. 
even though it's confirming that the Bible and the Torah is true, and this is in the year 600 after Christ. But still, it's a lie. It doesn't say that. It has changed. I will keep changing the translator. Maybe we can find one of them is honest. He has little dignity. This guy, his name is what? Kawari? Hmm. Confirming what was revealed before. No. Next. Uh, Sarwar. Let us see Sarwar. Confirming the original Bible. Guys, this guy, he added original Bible. <laughs> okay, do you have the original Bible? What a bunch of liars. Serena. Uh, you are a boy from Nigeria. You debate me about that. You want me to debate you about Serena? Why you change your name, Nigeria boy, boy to a girl? Why you change your name? Idiot, a bug. He has sent a book for you. Let us change the translator. Uh, Itani. Confirming what came before it. Oh boy. Uh, let us see this guy. Confirming what is before it. Not a single one of them have dignity to give the truth. Let us see this one. The same garbage. Let us see this one. The same garbage. But the Arabic is so clear. However, you know, I mean, already we showed you many verses. Even this verse, it doesn't say confirming what was before it. And the reason they are trying to change the translation, because it's a problem. Because it says, Lima bayna yaday. Actually, I will take the word here and I will copy it as it is. And I will put it in the search engine and you will die laughing. Just hold on. You see, I just copy the same word. Word by word, I will post it in the search engine. Chapter noon, chapter two, two, verse number ninety-seven. Confirming what is before it. Different translation. Confirming that what was revealed before it. Unbelievable, a bunch of liars. No dignity. Let us see another verse. This is try, we'll try. Chapter 3, verse 3. Confirming what went before it. It doesn't say that. Change the translator again. Confirming which was revealed by before it. Different one. Confirming what was, what, what came before it. All of them, they are avoiding to say what is between his hands. All of them. You know what? I will do this in front of you. Give me a second. Let me open Google Translation as a page. Google Translation. And we will translate all, all those verses we mentioned one by one in the front of your eyes. Let us do this. Start from verse number 266. 
Oh, sorry, this one about the Mabayna Yadayha, it's the same actually, but we will go with the exact one. Lima Bayna Yadayhi. Copy, paste in Google. Detected is what? Cindy? Stupid Google. For what is in his hand? Do you see it? Do you see it? So verse number 297 confirmed that they lie in the translation. Let us do the second one. Chapter 3, verse number 3. And we will copy. Oh, sorry. The, the screen was not on. I apologize. Hold on. Let's go back. I apologize. I will copy in the front of you. Paste in Google Translation. I will do it again. I did it already, but the screen was off. Believe in what is in his hand. So why they are saying what was sent before it, what was revealed before it? Because that will make a problem. Because now the Quran saying that this is physically exist, not was was before it, which might mean the one was exist before. But here it says believe in what is in his hand. Let us see a different verse. This verse, chapter 2, verse number 97, got them busted. What about chapter 3, verse number 3? Let us copy it. Copy. Paste in Google. Believing what is in the in his hand. Again. But the translation doesn't say that. Take another verse. I mean, look at this, one after one. Musabdiqan lima bayna yadayhi, the same verse. And actually, if you open this verse here, I'm sure they will give you the correct translation, maybe. Because he's confirming the Torah, this is about Jesus, supposedly. Let us copy. Go to Google. Here. Believing what is in his hand. What about chapter 5, verse number 48? Copy. Paste. You see? But not even a single translation was mentioning the word between his hands. Not a single translation. Chapter 35, verse number 31. The same word, the same sentence. Take it. We give it to Google. <clears throat> so people, do you see how they lie? Never accept a Muslim translation, explanation for his religion. Ask yourself, how a sentence saying, agreeing, believing in what is between his hands, became confirming what was revealed before it? Why they took the word hands and between his hand off? Do you, do you understand me? Shouldn't we ask ourselves why they took the word between his hands off? The answer is simple. For that will confirm that all the accusation of Muslims is a fraud. However, God don't leave us without getting them busted. Not only by Christian prince, no. I will use their own translation this time. I will change from what is between his hand to what is with them. And look what will happen. Just to show you that those donkeys are certified donkey. 
chapter 2, verse number 89. Look at those idiots. So they tried to hide all those verses, taking what is between his hands, and now look what they did here. The donkeys, they forget to switch to the hiding mood. So look what they said. And confirming, and when there come to them a book from Allah, confirming what is with them. Do you see it? Does it say, guys, confirming what is with them? It's over. Our Bible is confirmed. But the donkey in the video, he said that the addition happened 300 years after Jesus. But the Quran saying that in 600 years after Jesus, still the Bible was true book. Different verse. Confirming what is with them. Hilarious. What about chapter 2, verse 101? Confirming what... Look here, they changed the same sentence. It became was suddenly. The guy, he, he forgot now he had to switch. It doesn't say was. It says to what is with them. <laughs> the same sentence the same translator chapter 2 verse 213 <clears throat> how this book can be from God See how we get them busted. Now, those who are going to translate the video, you don't have to make all this video as it is. You can stop when we finish with this idiot donkey and you can translate. You do not need to make all the video, I mean, translate the whole thing. That would be really long. But for me, uh, you know, I don't want to stop now just because if you're translation. So, what you do, you finish with this donkey with my statements. You can maybe quote those verses about confirming what is with them which is in the Quran and the story is over now if there is anyone who claims to be a scholar in Islam I will be happy to have you anyone he claimed to be the only one we call us he's a bug his name is uh, ultimate fort this is the only one who call us that's it and he changed his name he called himself Zainab and Fifi and Susu and by the way, the Muslims, they send me messages. I don't know if you saw what I posted in uh, uh, Patreon. Let me show you. This is a Muslim, his name is Saifullah, the sword of Allah. I want you to give me evidence that the Christianity is true. Okay. Can I call you whenever you are alive? Okay. And one more thing. I want people to leave Islam as it were it is from the devil. Okay. And I have read the Quran and I have good Quran grammar. And I can pronounce words correctly and sound like a Muslim. Uh -huh. Can I pretend to be one and you, and then you can refute me, and then I'll pretend to leave Islam? First of all, we knew that you are an Abdul, and you are a liar. Secondly, we don't do that. We don't pretend, for this is what Muslims do. You are a fraud like your prophet. Number three, Fifi, shame on you to send me this message. We don't do that. Shame on you. You are just a stupid idiot. 
Actually, you know what? I don't think this guy he knew we are talking about him. Let me try to call him in Skype. Maybe we can just have fun. Yeah, they wanna they wanna say like, uh, see, guy brother, uh, you know this guy he don't have real Muslims leaving Islam. Yeah, brother. Fraud, I think they're prophet. You know they love they, they, they are a fraud. I believe you. You can pretend anything. Let us see if we can call him. <clears throat> I hope he's not listening. I should not show his name actually. Now the Muslim they saw he will they will warn him. Where is what was his name? There we go. Let us try to call him. You are pretend son of Muta. No, look like he is not online. Do you see how do you see how trashy this religion, how evil it is? For them, for them, all kind of evil is allowed as long as they are defending Islam. So they said to themselves, maybe we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like uh, tempt him and make him agree. Maybe this guy, uh, he is a liar like us. Uh, maybe this guy, he uh, he practice a fraud like the Prophet Muhammad. Maybe he is. Maybe brother, he is. So let us try to practice the maybe lie of a prophet Muhammad. So what they do? They send me, brother, save Allah. And obviously he's an Arab. I want you to give me evidence of the Christianity. And look, and look, look how they try to suppose they want to make it like he really want to convert. And he's ready. He is an ex-Muslim, you know. And look how stupid they are. I mean, <laughs> and one more thing, I want people to leave Islam as it is from the devil. And I have read the Quran and I have good Quran grammar and I can pronounce the words correctly and sound like a Muslim. Can I pretend to be one and then you can refute me? And then I will pretend, that, pretend to leave Islam. That is the spirit of Allah. Just right in front of you. They are practicing their religion, taqiyya, so they can fight Christian prince. Once they send me a Muslim girl, look at those people, how evil they are. They send me a Muslim girl. I was in a chat room. And then uh, this girl, she said in the chat, uh, today I am I, I will convert to Islam. I need to talk to you. So you know, for me, I felt I felt for this girl. She want to convert to Islam. I mean, no way I'm going to let her convert to Islam if I can help her. You know. She said I want to talk to you in private, not in like in front of everybody. So I said okay, call me in Skype. So I closed the program right now. We have hundreds of people listening, just to talk to her. And then I start talking to her and she opened the camera. I said, there's no need to open the camera. She said, I don't know. It's open by itself. What I would do, shall I go? I said, okay, it's okay. You know, because I want to talk to her. I want to save her from Islam. I said, I told her, close the camera. She said, let's keep opening. The camera keep opening. And then the space around her chest is start getting expanded. Like, you know, she is putting the shirt down. She's putting the shirt, the t-shirt, down. And I said, are you okay? Can you please turn off the camera? She said, I told you, 
Okay, I'm going to go and convert to Islam now. I said, it's okay, it's just listen to me, listen to me. <laughs> the poor me, <laughs> trying to save her from Islam. I told her, did you read the Quran? She said, not really. I said, do you know Arabic? She said, no. But then I look all the way behind her in the wall. I found verse in the Quran, like an, like an art, you know, writing by hand. All the way at the end of the wall, behind her, the room is long. And right away, I knew that she is a fraud. The same second, I noticed that somebody opened the door and he spoke to her in Moroccan language. Moroccan accent. So look at those filthy people. They said to themselves, we send him one of our sisters. Maybe she can tempt him. And then if he get tempted by this hooker, praise be to Allah, we will record him. And then we will post it in YouTube. That is Islam. Anything is possible. They will send their sister to strip for me so they can fight me. Anything. And I said to her, so you said to me you don't speak Arabic, so how this guy is speaking to you in Arabic? And right away she hang up. She's a Moroccan girl claiming to be Mexican. She has a curly hair. It sound she looked like a Mexican actually, and her accent sounded like I believed her. Honest to God, I believed her. And I felt really bad because she's like maybe 20 something. I mean, she has been deceived supposedly. She is going to take Shahada. And, and you know, for me, I'm like, a, I'm, I'm a, a, the guardian who want to save her from this evil. And this camera keep opening, I, you know, close it, opening, close it, open it. No, I did not, because I wasn't expecting it to be this way. Why I want to record it? People speak to me in private. I don't record them. I wasn't expecting it to be this way. I never thought it is. I just told you, I saw all the way at the end of the room, a writing in Arabic behind her. The room is dark, but still I was able to recognize. And the same second, the door opened, and the guy spoke to her in Moroccan language, Moroccan Arabic. How we can take Christian Prince down? Anything. Anything is possible. For them, it's a war. And in war, everything is possible. And their partner is the devil. So they will come here, they will use the Christian names. They will use names that have nothing to do with Islam in order to deceive you. Be, be careful. Never trust anyone. Be very careful. Keep trying. You want to send me a message saying I want to pretend to be a Muslim? Do you really think that those who left Islam, the hundreds and the hundreds, I know them, I never, I can show all those who left Islam in my Skype and their messages. And you can see if there's any delay. And you will see, I never spoke to them before. And if I spoke to them before, they were fighting with me, arguing with me. One by one. You see, when you partner with the devil, you do what the devil do. As simple as that. Do you remember what Muhammad he said to his followers about Taqiyya? Who remember? What chapter? Anyone remember? What chapter teach Taqiyya? Who 
Ruby member. Let us see how many of you is, is uh, learning. 328, thank you, Apple. Look what the Quran teach the Muslims, just to show you the quality of the devil. Read carefully with me. This is a chapter 3, verse number 28. Let not the believers take the disbelievers as their friends. So although the Muslim, he says to you, I'm your friend, is lying. They cannot take you as a friend. As simple as that. And this is not only in one verse in the Quran. Even if he is his, your brother from your blood, if you go in the Quran, chapter 9, verse number 23, You will see the Quran saying, uh, Just to show you how this religion works. Many people, they have no idea really what you are talking about. This is a very, very dangerous religion. Actually, not nine, sorry, hold on. Uh, see, you're getting older. Huh? Hold on. I think it... <sighs> this is what happens when you get older. Uh, 50, 58, sorry, 58, 58, 22. It's my mistake. You will not find people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who oppose Allah and His Messenger. And how you oppose Allah? If you don't accept Islam, you oppose Allah. So Muslims are not allowed to love you. And guess what? Even if you are his own child, read carefully. Even if they are, they were, their own parents, or their children, or their sibling, or their close relatives. Do you see it? And yet you will see somebody who is a Christian, he believed that there was a Muslim, he said to him, I am a friend and we are closer friends. It can be possible he is a closer friend to you if you don't believe in Islam, which means a Muslim by name. But a Muslim, true Muslim, he will not do that, as you see. He is not allowed even to love his own parents, his own children. And as you see, everything we say, we show. Going back to the Taqiyah, chapter 3, verse number 28. Read carefully. This is what the Muslim now they are trying to do with me. Read carefully. The one who take non-Muslims as a friend. What if there is a Muslim he took us as a friend? He mean it. He's a decent person. It might happen. Look what it says. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas and this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Just to show Muslims, I'm showing both. Whatever you like to show, no problem. All is the same garbage. Read carefully. The one who is sincere, sincere in what? And take you as a friend. Who does that? Seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend, he is not a Muslim no more. Read carefully. Has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, mercy, or protection from Allah. Unless, ah, unless, that is the taqiyya. Unless it be, yet you guard yourself against them. Save yourself from them. Taking as it were security. 
saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Do you see it? Can you find more evil than this? Can you? So this is what is they practice with me. They send me messages. This is taqiyya. They will say, uh, we are your friends. We don't like Islam. They will insult even Muhammad so they can uh, earn the trust. And maybe you will tell them where you live, who you are, or share with them some private information. You are the enemy of Allah and we will take you down. We will send you our sister. She will take her off her <laughs> and no problem because the, what is important is the result. This is an evil cult, my friend. What Jesus says about lying. Either you say yea, yea, or nay, nay, and anything else is from the devil. Anything else is from where? From the devil. This is chapter 3, verse number 28, and this is the interpretation of the Muslims, not mine. And this is Tafsir ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, which Muhammad named him as Hibrul Ummah the ink of his scholarship he is the only one muhammad he pray for to be the scholar of the nation so this is what we are dealing with we are fighting the devil himself this is a devilish cult this is why this guy by the way when he speak he speaks stupid he says stupid things you see, the devil is not doing a good job. He chooses stupid people to use them. I mean, how in the world you bring me a book is against your book to confirm that something wrong with my book? You have to be mental issue suffering from. Do you see how much they have hate to Christ? He bring a book which is against his book to confirm that there is something wrong in my book. And now he's in trouble because he is the one who said this book is authentic. Those are the outstanding people. They are scholars from the most outstanding university. He advised me to read it. He advised me to, uh, you know, okay. Yeah, we need more admins. I don't know who to do. I'm just adding some people I know I can trust at least by watching their history in the chat. We need guys as admins. Where is Phil? Is not here. Anyone have a question for me? And again, those who will translate my video respond to this guy. The video is long, so don't. Shall I, guys, uh, hang up and come back? And we spend the night talking, I mean, whatever we want. What about we go in the quality of life? What do you want? What do you think? What do you think? Ayan Randall? Randall? I don't know him. Or stay here, I'm not sure. I guess you have to tell me about names I know. I do not know those names. You see, this is internet. This is the problem. As we just mentioned to you, how a lot of uh, Mohammedan, they come with names. And sometimes even the names, they look the same. Where is the three cases? 
I'm not sure what they mean about three cases of lies in the verse. Quality of life? Okay. What the topic you want to talk about in the quality of life in the time of Corona? How many of you knew about our account quality of life? If you like to join us for free, there we don't talk about the garbage of Muhammad. We talk about good stuff, and even if it's entertainment, who care? You know, we Christian, we are happy people. The Lord, He wanted us to be happy. Like uh, once a person he asked me, uh, "Is the music is okay for us?" Sure, music is okay. Why not? How you can hurt God by music? As long as the music is decent, the song is decent, why not? If there's a song about love, why not? Love. The whole our Lord is about love. Love, my friend. A song about love, not about sex. So why not? We are not the same as the full Muhammad. The full Muhammad, he says, songs are haram and four wives in the bed is halal. Having children in the bed is halal. But songs is, is haram. Islam don't want you to be happy. And find me one Muslim, he don't listen to music. According to Muhammad, let me show you what Muhammad says. Shall I show you what Muhammad says? Disaster. I mean, this guy, Muhammad, each time he opens his mouth, he do poo, poo I wish he would. I mean, I'm very, very thankful that Muhammad, he never keep his mouth shut. Otherwise, it's going to be hard for us to get him busted. <laughs> you know, when you see Muhammad, is again singing, etc. You think that this guy was spending his day praying to God? The hadith says that Muhammad he used to have sex with all his wives without even washing, one after one. And here you need to ask yourself: Are we talking about a human being or a beast or a donkey? Let us show you some reference. Read this. Read this and love. Narrated, narrated from Anas that the Messenger of Allah who used to go around his wife in one wash. Okay, go around his wife to do what? To have sex. To have sex. How we can prove that this is what it says? Let us see. Read. The Prophet used to have intercourse with his wives, one after another, with, with a single bathing. Have you ever heard of a beast like this? If this is true, 13 wives or 12 or 11, one after one, and he never wash. But the music is haram. Having 13 women in the bed and jumping from one after one without even washing is halal. Yeah, and the Fifi, he said, but not every day. <laughs> Suppose he's fixing it. Stupid idiot. 
Not every day, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Not every day. <laughs> so, Muhammad, you get only and one day only. The rest of the week is. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Yeah, if we go to the music, let's see what, what Muhammad said about the music. Muhammad, he claimed, and this is again proof that Muhammad is a fraud, that his people time will come and they will be drinking and they will have singing girls and they will listen to music and what Allah will do to them? Allah will turn the Muslims into monkeys and pigs. Do you see it? Now, Indonesian people, how many Muslims you know? In Indonesia, by the way, they have a huge nightclub run even by the government. First time I heard about it from somebody who worked in Indonesia. I met him in Starbucks, and he's an Arab. I said, so you live here, you work here? He said, no, I work in Indonesia, but I am here for forever business. I said to him, what do you do? He's a Muslim. He said, I work in a night club in Indonesia. He said, oh, there's a night club there? I said, oh, yeah, they are huge. Huge. I said, how huge? He said, as much as you can imagine. I'm not sure if this is true. Indonesian people here, yeah, they can confirm this is true or not. So look. Muhammad confirmed that if you have a musical instrument, and you have singing girls, Allah will turn you into monkeys and pigs. Indonesian Muslims, how many pigs and monkeys turn from the Muslims to until now? Do you know anyone who turned into pigs? Huh? So Muhammad is a false prophet. Do you see it? Do you see it? Muhammad is a false prophet because not a single one of you, 300 million Indonesian, all of you, you listen to music, including those mullahs and this ustad. All of you watch TV and have singing girls. And many of them, they go to nightclubs. How many of them, Allah, he made him a monkey and a pig? Any Muslim? Where is the Prophet? Here we go. This is prophecy. But hold on, brother. Why you miss this sentence, CP? Look what it says. Allah will cause the earth to swallow them up. Uh, there was an earthquake happening in Indonesia just two days ago. It says the earth will swallow you, the whole people, all of them. And on the top of that, still Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. Do you see it? So can we consider Muhammad a fraud or a prophet? All Muslims around the world, they listen to music. Especially when you come to my channel. Describe Quran 21, 30, 17, 18. What do you want in Quran 20, 130, my friend? What do you mean? What do you mean by saying describe? Are you saying to me explain? Is that what do you mean? 
<clears throat> I'm not sure what do you mean. Please, if you ask me a question, make it clear so I can understand what you want. Right. Anyway, if you want to understand any of those verses, just go to like there is a, a interpretation for the verses and you can read them. Uh, and supposedly the Muslims, they give you interpretation. However, remember that the Muslims agree about not to agree about the meaning of any verse in the Quran. This is the only agreement Muslims they agree. And the funny Muhammad he said that his nation will not agree upon something is false. And this is additional prophecy, which is false. For the Muslims, <clears throat> let me get you the hadith. And I'll explain to you how this is will cause Islam again to be proven to be false. Read carefully. I heard the message of Allah, S-A-W, my nation will not unite on misguidedness. So if you see them deferring, follow the great majority. Who is a Muslim agree with this madness, Muhammad, he just said? Any Muslim agree? Who agree with this? Because this hadith proving that Muhammad is a fraud. How we knew that? All Muslims today they listen to music. All Muslims today they don't practice Sharia law. I mean, there is a little Taliban. And the little Saudi Arabia, and they don't even practice Sharia law, they practice, let's say, 80% of it. So, if his people will not agree about something misguiding, so why they are not following Islam? Right? Obviously, Muhammad is lying. And uh, a Muslim he might say to you that, okay, Christianity is, there is many sects. Which one of them is the true sect? In Christianity, we don't believe that there is a true sect. Anyone who speaks about sect, he is a sect follower. Christianity is a Christ. It's not a sect. The one who will save, all the Christian agree, the Savior, his name is Jesus. His not name, his not, name is not a bishop, his name is not, is not a priest, he's not a Christian prince. Nobody can save us, save the Messiah. That is a Christianity. However, they say to you, well, if a Christianity is from God, so why the Christians are divided? That's from the devil. Quran, chapter 5, Verse number 14 explain that Allah, which is Satan, he took an, a, a promise to himself that he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until judgment day. I provoked enmity and hatred among them until the day of resurrection. Who's talking? Allah. To who? To the Christians. So, if your problem is 
why they are divided the answer is in the Quran Allah is the devil who like to spread hatred as you see why Allah will spread hatred I mean what what, what that would do to humanity is that the job of Allah to spread the hatred or guidance obviously hatred enmity as you see Other Muslim might say to you, well, we are not divided like you. That's not true. Because you just get your prophet busted. According to Muhammad, the most divided nation is Islam. Not Christianity. Do you see it? And this is Sahih. All of those are Sahih. Your Prophet confirmed that he is a fraud again by saying the following. The Messenger of Allah said the Jews split into 71 sect or 72 sect. The Christian similarly, which means 72 or 71, he's not sure. My nation will split into 73 sect. Let us count the 73 sect of Islam. We will find that Muhammad is a fraud. There is thousands of them. For every sect is many sect. And let us count if really there is 72 sect for the Jews and 72 sect for the Christians. <laughs> if that is not a true Obviously, Muhammad is a fraud. Correct? Do you see how easy to prove that Muhammad is a fraud? And how, how easy it can be? It can't be easier than this. Go Muslims, go, go count, count the 73 sect of the Jews. And the funny thing, we see some Muslims, they make articles and they start making sect and they stop at 73 and that's it, that's it. I mean, I, I never saw a stupid cult as this cult. If they could not find a sect, they will make one, just to make the number 73. Now maybe it's good to go live on air tomorrow in the morning, in my time in the morning, in the quality of life. And guys, you can tell me what the topic you like, what topic you like me to talk about. Let me know and I will be happy. And don't send me uh, videos of uh, people in uh, Patreon, uh, of Muslim kids uh, refuse this guy. My friend, I'm not here for kids, they are kids. Or they send me a video is is even if it, uh, in uh, in in Indonesian language like somebody told you I know Indonesian. I used to know Indonesian by the way, but uh, what happened when Jabril squeezed me three times and he told me read, uh, he caused a damage for like because I I used to put the uh, Indonesian language in my rep, you know, uh, and then when he squeezed me, you know the mayonnaise came out, and uh, the language uh, the Indonesian came out with the mayonnaise, you know. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet? He got activated by squeezing. Thank God, I don't want to be a prophet, man. I would go crazy if a man, he tried to... Uh... You know, okay, I have a different idea. What if Allah, he sent a female angel and she squeezed me? Brother? It's okay. Allah, he sent Jibreel, and Jibreel is a man. Hold on, I forgot something. Hold on, hold on.
Excuse me. Excuse me. I just remember how I missed this part. This guy at the end of the video, he said something to me. I just forgot what he said to me. Important message. I mean, how this happen? See, this is what happened when we came like 16, 17 years old, getting old. What he said to me? Because of that, I really hope you will read and learn more. Hmm. What you have conveyed, mislead Muslim and Christian as well. Hmm. Hopefully, hmm. you will repent while you are still alive. Hmm. Don't wait until the angel of death comes to you. Stop. Hear and stop. I have a news for you. I serve in the army and I have fighting skills. And I know how to stop the angel of death. Even better than Moshe, which means Musa. In the hadith of your prophet said that when Allah he sent the angel of death to Moshe Moshe He did beat him. Let us get you the hadith. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. And now I just remember, like this guy, he mentioned something. When we mentioned Jibreel, it come to my head like, yeah, he mentioned something about repent before the angel of death, you idiot. You have no idea. Angel of death. Okay. Look what Muhammad he told his followers. Don't worry about Corona. Don't worry about the angel of death. Don't worry, Habibi. As a Fifi he said to me, Habibi. He's Habibi now. Habibi. Huh? You must have Habibi? Hmm. Look at this. And this is Sahih. The chapter about Moses narrated Abu Huraira reported that the angel of death was sent to Moshe to inform of his Lord summons when he came Moses boxed him <laughs> and his eye was knocked out and he the angel of death came back to Allah and said are you with me? Uh, what's your name? Insan? The funny his name is Insan, which means mean human. I mean, how in the world do you call yourself Insan? Angel of what? Are still alive. Don't wait until the angel of death comes to you. Oh boy. Convert to Islam if you want to be safe. Okay? Thank okay. You. See you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. But let me tell you, brother, the angel of death will come to me, and I have more skills than Moses. Uh, you know, I spend uh, uh, more than a month and a half in the desert doing a special practice, uh, brother. Very high, good skills in fighting. And, uh, brother, uh, 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 I will box the angel of death, and uh, I, will, uh, I will take his eye off. Look, guys, after... Moshe, the Jew, he boxed the angel of death and he took his eye off. The angel, he came back to Allah. Look at what a coward. <laughs> what? Hey, angel of death, what are you doing here? Why are you crying? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What happened to you? Who did this to you? He said, you sent me, you sent me to a servant. Stop, stop doing that. Speak to me. Tell me what happened. 
What? I cannot understand you. <laughs> Show respect, please. I mean, respect the pain of the uh, of the angel. Put yourself in the shoes of the angel now. You are an angel of death. Allah sent you to kill somebody. And now what happened to you? This guy turned to be Muhammad Ali Klai. Baby. Jack, uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> Bruce Lee. The angel of death, not only he was bitten by Moshe, no. Look what happened to him. He said, you sent me to a servant who did not want to die. What he don't want? To die. Oh boy. <laughs> and you are telling me people dying by Corona? All that we need to get Moshe in the front of the hospital door. The angel of death, he come. Moshe, like, practices his skills. <laughs> So this guy, he is giving me a serious advice. I mean, look how serious he is. Look at his eyes, man. This guy is almost crying for me. He feels sorry for me. This is serious uh, advice. I, I did not hear it say again. Convert to Islam if you want to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thank you. See you in the next episode. See me in the next episode? I converted to Islam already. What are you talking about? Why do you want to see me in the next episode? <laughs> Hopefully, you will repent while you are still alive. Brother, question, brother. If I repent when I'm alive, I'm going to get four wives, brother? Brother, right now my bed is small. So if I convert to Islam now, brother, should I make my bed bigger, fit for woe for, brother? Uh, brother? Don't wait until the angel of death come to you. Don't wait until the angel of death come. No, 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 no. I love it when he say, death. Look, look, you sound like yourself. You are dying, my friend. What's wrong with you? Why, why you are you saying death? What is that? You will repent while you are still alive. Don't wait until the angel of death come. Stop. I mean, I'm seriously stopped. Eh, I can't even do it like you. I'm, I'm just trying to pray. Is that how it says there? Death. You scared the hell of me, man. Can't you make it shorter? So now I'm going to die and now death. Can't you make a death? What? What? I'm still alive. Don't wait until the angel of death. Hold on. I cannot take it no more. I'm scared. Terrified. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Wait not. Please don't. You will need and learn more. What you have conveyed, mislead Muslim and Christian as well. Hopefully, you will repent while you are still alive. Don't wait until the angel of death comes to you. Beautiful. Comfort to Islam. Come on, you stop the music, the stop. Music. You cannot continue talking. Don't you see the music? Stop. What's wrong with you? Now we have to.
to do it from the beginning again. Please look look at my fingers. You see my fingers? We will continue going like this. Can't you make it shorter? Like okay, the music is over. Then what will we do? Start again, please. Yeah, and if you would, if you can put your head up, you know the microphone. Who put the microphone for you there in your neck? It look weird. You look like Madonna here. Christian as well. Hopefully, you will repent while you are still alive. Don't wait until the angel of death comes to you. Convert to Islam if you want to be safe. Okay? Thank you. See you in the next episodes. I just died and you want to see me in the next episode? Very sad. I'm dead. Episode. Black background behind him. Commercial break. If you have any funeral and you need our service, please call Brother Ustaz Insan. He will filter you and he will bury you according to the teaching of a Prophet Muhammad. He will put a piece of cotton in your anus and he will push it with a stick because he will not allow 99 dragons, as the Prophet said, go inside your anus. They are very harmful and very dangerous. Call us right now. Insan, 1-800 number, cotton for anus for every citizen. Back to the topic. What is this? Uh, and how you said to me, Angel of Death, and then you said to me, next episode, do you think I'm coming back here? That's it. I repent. That's it. I mean, are you serious? How in the world do I want to be back here after all this uh, horror, horror, horror movie? It mislead Muslim and Christian as well. Hopefully, you will repent while you are still alive. Hey, brother, can I repent after I die? Brother, Muslims, can a, pers a, 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 a person only 459 are here? Where is everybody? And people are going to sleep, huh? And I am the only poor guy is here? Left alone with 500 people alone? What do you want to see and to say to me? Now, especially after I, uh, you know, I like uh, <clears throat> Angel of Death is coming to me. And uh, by the way, I don't know if you know this trick. Do you know how you can find out if the Angel of Death is coming to your door? Who knows? Who knows? Let us see how many of you watch my videos and learn how we can find out of the angel of death is coming to you anyone um switzerland Rina, what you are Switzerland? I'm talking about the angels, Rina. You say to me, I'm Switzerland. What is that? Focus, focus, focus. This is serious. How we can find out a rooster? Thank you. Yeah, we are past as learning. See, the prophet he have a very genius idea. Let me show you. And by the way, Zach and Nike confirmed that. Uh, 
Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger saying, When you listen to the crown of the cock, ask Allah for his favor as it sees an angel. And when you listen to the brain of the donkey, seek refuge in Allah from Satan, for it sees Satan. That's easy. Thank God I don't live in the front of the hospital where they bring people for Corona because I have a roaster in my roof. And you can imagine this rooster will never stop because the angel of death is coming, going, coming, going, coming, going, bang, go, yeah, cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. At 7 p.m., the, the, the rooster will be screaming 7 p.m., 6 a.m. It doesn't matter what time because you see an angel, that's it. So if you want to know if the angel of death is coming to take your soul, get a rooster. Get him with you in the room. Let him sit, like just give him some beans, you know. I mean, just in there. The angel, he come. The rooster right away, we start like, if you say, many times, that means there is like a, a, a band of them. Like, it's not alone, like a, maybe like a, a brigade of angels. If you say like, it's mean one angel. If you say like, that's mean he saw the angel of death which is beaten by Prophet Musa. Like he's broken, you know, his wing is broken, his eye is coming out. I mean, did you see in the hadith says that the eye of the guy is out? Look, look, after he boxed him, what happened? Allah restored his eye. Let me explain to you, brother, what happened. This is... I have to use my art. I mean, you know me. You know I'm. I'm, I'm very much of. Uh, I'm born to be artist. I noticed that since I was a kid. You know. When I was a kid with my parents and my other parents, I was the first one to draw something in a suicide vest. Vest, like you know, like they give it to me. It says, okay, we're going to use it soon. Draw something in it before we use it. And like I was so happy. Like okay, I'm going to draw something in it. And then we it's right in the market, you know, because we are very professional in this uh, business, uh, suicide belt, brother. So anyway, brother, I practice this and I grow with it. So look, look, look at this. This is the angel of death. I will make him handsome so people will not complain because, come on, he's an angel. Me, look at this. Huh. That's fantastic. Oh, boy. And you are saying, I do not know how to draw? What's wrong with you? He sounds like a monkey, but it's okay because he's not a human, remember, you know? Now, this is the angel of death, I. Moshe, he hit him in the eye. And behind the eye of the angel, there is a little rasur, like boing, boing, you know, boing. So the angel eye, the rasur, push it, there is a rasur, like those you know, round rasur, you know, ding, boing, you know, out, and his eye became here. You know what I'm saying, brother? Like, dear, 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 dear. boing, boing, boing. And the eye of the angel is out. So now Allah, when the angel, he went back to him, Allah, he restored the eye in its place. So how Allah, he restored it? Very easy. He pushed back the Rasur. This is the Rasur. What they call it in English? The one, uh, the, the one like round thing. Uh, spring, spring, like spring for the bed, you know, for the mattress. So he pushed it back, brother. In this direction.
he push it back and then he put the glue and he fix it and by the way this is very true story I witness me as an Arab many 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 people in Arabia their eye come out like this and Allah he restore their eye by pushing the rasur the spring inside boing 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 as simple as that and you are telling me that the prophet of Allah is not a prophet and you are trying to scare me with the angel of death you idiot all that I need to do I will beat the angel I will make his eye poop out but there is something I like about this guy I don't know I like it when he said they what, what? I don't know even how to say it how do you say it mislead Muslim and Christian as well hopefully you will repent while you are still alive don't wait until the angel of death comes to I can't take it no more I mean this death alone is something angel of what death what is that man <sighs> you have a question guys look at this I mean look how look how people how treat me what do you mean you have a question truth about Islam guys just to show you just to show you how people don't care do you look I just been told the angel of death is going to come and take me and now all that you are worried about I have a question don't you understand the situation you should be more like uh, buy you flowers roses buy me ice cream say Christian Prince it's okay you know you know we will have a nice funeral for you now is the time to say to me you have a question like the guy is dying after five minutes and you say to him now I have a question like well, come on feel for me brother this is not fair can't you wait until the guy even he finished the long day day long day what what as well hopefully you will repent while you are still alive and look how he say like you are like a rooster you are say it again while you are still I cannot resist this life don't wait until the angel of death come you know what I'm going to make it my ring tone from my phone even though there's nobody call me death life all what I need is I get a rooster I get ready for the fight I will be in shape the angel of death he come to me the rooster he scream cuckoo cuckoo I knew he's there I open the door before he open his mouth I will spank him in his head boop, 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 boop. and then the angel he will go back to Allah and not only that this time I will be sure not only one eye is off I will take the both eyes and I will break the both wings so he will not be able to fly back Are you kidding me?
We knew, we, we learned from history, my friend. We learned from history. That's it, this is what happened with the Prophet Moses. The funny is, look like you, it's up to you how much you live. The angel of death, he go to take your life and then you beat him up. So, Moses, he disobey Allah because the angel is doing the order of Allah. You beat the angel of Allah, Prophet Moshe. Shame on you. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. La la lu, la la lu, la la lu, la la lu. I can't believe it really that Moshe is that bad. Look like he was a bad boy. I mean, this guy, he don't want to die. And look, Allah, he says to him, after he restored the eyesight, Allah said to the angel, go back, go back and tell him. <laughs> that if you want to live life he must place his hand on the back of an ox <laughs> oh boy look at the condition ox ox what ox why not uh, a chimpanzee what about a cat and then you will live as the same as the hair under your hand that's mean Moshe is going to live for 10,000 years how much hair is under his hand huh Yeah, the angel of death will be afraid of dogs, for sure. Afraid of dogs, uh, bell, uh, pictures. If you have pictures, he cannot come inside the house. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Tomorrow I will try to come in the account Quality of Life. If you like to join us. Now, those who they will download this video, I apologize, really, I made it long. Uh, cut it off, you know, from the part we finish. And translate only this part and then until tomorrow I have to say thank you guys for being here uh, I hope you have a good time yes here we love but the important is education and me purposely I make it in in a form of a comedy because it makes things stick in your head more so you remember it like now this is a story I'm sure even in 20 years from now, you will not forget. So, comedy is not the purpose. Joking is not the purpose. I do my best to make you laugh, but I am not a comedian. I'm here to teach you. This time is stupid, and that helping me. That's the whole story. Muhammad is an idiot, and that make you laugh. However, remember, what we do is very serious very important can change the life of many the same as dark and light so i want to say thank you for all of you i want to say thank you for this uh, insan this poor guy who supported us with a book which contradict the quran prove muhammad to be false prophet stupid prophet fraud the prophet and the quran to be absolutely fraud from the book you gave us you prove to us by your help and now i advise all the muslims to get the book he said because this book proved muhammad to be a false prophet and then you will come and listen to me and then you will learn more and then you will accept jesus as a christ as a lord as savior and you will be saved we love you muslims we love indonesian people and we make fun of the stupidity but not of the person i do not know this person i have no idea i feel sorry for him actually before actually I wanted to answer, I said to myself, I have to respect his age because he's an old man. But he called me foolish, he called me a fool, he called me. So he got what he deserved. Right? You get what you deserve. Thank you very much, guys. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you. Remember, subscribe to the Quality of Life account so you will be with us later. God is winning.
if I go live on air tomorrow in that account. Until then, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and see you soon. Bye-bye.